Hey, what's going on guys? This is Vital, and today I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to make an audio wave spectrum in Adobe After Effects. And in this tutorial, I am using CS5. So, uh, if you're using anything else, I can't guarantee it will be the same, but I'm sure uh, there's going to be something very similar. So, uh, yeah. Um, find your audio clip, import it, and put it or drag it down to the timeline. And now we want to make a new solid by going to Layer, New, Solid, and make that 1280 by 720. Uh, you can copy all these settings down if you wish. And uh, now that we've got the solid highlighted, we want to go to Effect, uh, go to Generate, Audio Spectrum, and make the start point at 640, or half of what your width was set to and my endpoint I'm going to make that 1280 because that is what my width is and I'm going to make the audio layer I'm going to select the audio uh, layer drop down box and click my song and now this should be even up uh, I'm going to put this on third so that uh, my quality doesn't affect uh, my recording so uh, now my frequency bands, uh, this is just how many bars there actually are. I'm going to lower mine down because I don't really like too many, but uh, you can change that to your likings. And I'm going to change my softness. I'm going to put a nice blue color, maybe make it darker in the middle, lighter on the out, so it looks a little bit like that. Um, and again, the quality will be better uh, when you actually do this because I am recording and I've got my quality set to third. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that part. Uh, so now we can go to, or actually, uh, click on your audio layer, press L twice. It'll open up a waveform and you can zoom in by clicking that button right there. Find a, what seems to be maybe a bass hit or something and... Uh, then you can click back on your solid and find maximum height and you can change this however you like um, that'll be what the highest point will most likely be and once you get that to whatever you like it to be I'm then we're going to want to duplicate the layer by holding control and pressing D or command and D if you're on a Mac and then we want to go to the end point and we're actually going to change that to zero and that will flip it 180 degrees so we have an identical waveform and it will actually look good and you can always mess around with these settings to however you like but uh, that's pretty much it and I'm just gonna preview what I've got so far and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very simple and basic So, yep, uh, that's pretty much it, uh, and uh, thanks, uh, Eddie, for suggesting this tutorial to me, and I hope it actually helps you out in the long run. So, uh, please subscribe, guys. Uh, I will be posting a lot more tutorials, and uh, I do have some edits up on my channel, and I will continue to do them. So, if you're into that kind of stuff, please subscribe.